Tonight, you have the chance to see a rare super blue moon. Just step outside or just watch right here. This is a live look right now at the moon shining in the night sky. CBSA's Jasmine Ramirez joins us in studio right now to tell us why this moon is considered to be so rare. Yeah, that's right, Marcella. And this live look is pretty great. Tonight's moon, it's supposed to be really bright and really big. Now, having a super blue moon, just anything like this, really, it only happens about every 10 years. A super blue moon is a celestial phenomenon. Tonight it was captured around the globe. Here you can see it glowing in Turkey, rising into the night sky in Greece, shining in Portugal and peeking through the clouds in Australia. The big excitement is just for the public to look up, see a very bright, beautiful full moon. Tonight I talked with Douglas Leonard, a professor of astronomy at San Diego State. He says a super moon happens when the moon is at its closest point to the Earth. This makes it appear super big and super bright. Next I asked him what a blue moon is. If you happen to have four full moons in one season, like summer, okay, the third of those full, four full moons is called a blue moon. So just how rare is it to have a super blue moon? To have a blue moon, and, which occurs about every, uh, every two or three years, and a super moon, which occurs about 25% of the time, to have those two things occur together on one full moon happens about every decade. And so that's what makes it a bit interesting. That's why he recommends going outside and catching a glimpse of it. This is such a cool event because it's something that everyone can enjoy, that everyone can see easily and appreciate. Maxwell Palau is an astronomer here in San Diego. Taking photos of the moon and stars is one of his favorite things to do. He has advice if you want to capture tonight's moon. But if you really want to capture, the best way to do it is to either have a pair of binoculars or a telescope and then put your iPhone or your Android device and put it right up against the eyepiece and then take a picture of the moon. It'll look incredible. And tonight's clear skies in San Diego will also help give a clear view of the moon. Now it's best to go outside and see it now. I'm told the next super blue moon, it likely won't happen until 2037. Marcella? That's so interesting. So, you know, you hear the phrases once in a blue moon, so that's great that you explained why it's rare to have a super moon and also blue moon. And then people hear the word blue and they're looking at the photo thinking like, does it have a little bit of a blue hue? Is the moon really blue or why does this, you know, why is it called a blue moon? Right, no, does I asked that exact same question. I did learn the term blue moon is really just used to describe the third full moon in a season with four of them. Now in this case, we're having four full moons this summer.